Hey guys, second fan of the night. Second fan of the night. And this is the second uh, manufacturer fan. This again, sometimes manufacturers will send us fans for testing and video and review. Um, and this is from. Did I close the window? I made a big deal about making sure I had the window open, and I think I closed it. So somebody else talk while I reopen the window. So this is a um, 60 inch uh, fan. It's a DC. I. Um this one, so I, I was the one who primarily installed this. I It was pretty easy to put together. Um, this one's very reminiscent of basically any other standard fan. I mean, it's, you know, it's ball socket. It even has a lower canopy, which is kind of cool. Um, the uh, blades go together. The blades actually kind of go together in a more old-school way, having the badges. Yeah. Um, and the blades are reversible white to bleached oak, or whatever you want to call that, like kind of light wood. And I, so far I like it. The fact that it's a 60 inch is pretty cool. It's got an LED integrated light, much like the last one. It's from B-Clog. Uh, I wanted to make sure I had the name right. I will post, of course, the link and description and everything in the video description. The title simply says, Ceiling fan with light, 60 inch, remote, outdoor, indoor, DC motor, modern ceiling fan with LED light for dining room, bedroom, kitchen, living room, patios, or farmhouse. And I picked... Uh, white and black, because I thought that was such an unusual finish combination. It looks a lot better than I thought it was. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, I um, I was very skeptical on this sort of thing. I, yeah, I didn't know what to think of it either, but I was like, well, the the black version's pretty plain. I think they, I can't remember if they had a, a I'm sure they had an all white version. Let's see here. No, they have all black, and they have black with gray blades, and then black with white blades, and then, yeah, it's just the motor is just black, and you've got different blade options. So that's interesting. But yeah, I like that it's 60 inch. I'm curious to see how it performs. Yeah. As Rick was saying, this one does go together a little bit more like a normal fan. Uh, only criticism we've had so far is that the mounting bracket did not fit on our fan rated box. It has the wider mounting holes that will fit a four inch octagon box. But you know, fan rated boxes often have the narrower hole set. So also, if you had a three and a half inch octagon box or a mud ring, it wouldn't fit on that either. So. That's something uh, for the manufacturer to be aware of, that there's going to be some people who won't be able to install this fan on the proper outlet box, depending on what outlet box they have. Uh, of Or you could always, of course, change the mounting bracket, but you have to find one where the remote receiver fits in there. So that's... It's a pretty standard remote receiver. Like, I would think your your, your standard issue, like Hampton Bay kind of, uh, you know, ball socket would, would handle it fine. It's um it the yeah and it actually has a standard remote receiver that sits on top of the ball um, up in the mine bracket much like um, Hampton Bay's I know do that so I think Hunters as well yeah but um yeah I mean otherwise it yeah it, it fits on your standard light fixture four inch box but yeah so that is something to be careful and those are the labels on the side of the motor housing uh, I'm sure that you're supposed to remove them I left them or I had I suggested Rick leave them yeah just because it gives blender fan to me with the Emerson label on yeah, the side yeah a little bit I like that this whole thing almost looks a little blender fan especially that it has a lower canopy that's yeah. cool. Okay, well, we have not uh, put power to it, or does, no. it, does it say in the manual that it needs any pairing, or is this room just ready I, to go like the last one? I think one? it's ready to go. I did not see anything about that. It's got installation instructions. Okay, let's... Here's the... Um, the manual. Yeah, if anyone wants to see it. The lovely pretty... Rick will show, and the remote. The remote is bigger than the, the remote in the last one we tested. I don't have a problem with big remotes. It makes it harder to harder lose. Harder to lose, yep. <laughs> so... That is true. All right, well, so let's go to... Let's do the light first. Yeah, do the light. So, let's see. There we go. Okay. And I don't see any additional light functions on this one. It's kind of just light on, light on, light off, right? It says it has three colors. Oh, oh we have to turn oh. it on and off. That's why. Oh, okay. yeah. Oh, interesting. Okay. Now, I also got to wonder if it would remember it if you cut it out. We, oh. should, we should have tried that on the other one. Yeah, I, I forgot about that. Okay, so it, it defaults to... Okay, so that's off entirely. I hear a couple relay clicks, and then it defaults to daylight. So if you want a different color, there's more of a cool white, and there's more of a warm white. Or actually, previous one would be soft white. Yeah, I, yeah, if you want to call it that. I, I always similar to that. I always think of I think of it in terms of fluorescent. Like to me, that's the equivalent mm. of cool white, and then that's like probably forty one hundred. But yeah, basically. So then I like the mixed color personally. This is a I feel like it's a little bit indeed. right. Yeah, I think on this fan I like that one the best. Yeah, it got matches a little bit better. So okay, um, well, so it's again, it's got your six-speed kind of standardized DC setup here. So let's go with one, which should be low. Or maybe 
it's all right. It's certainly, well, it's only, it's drawing very little current, but okay, the current's climbing. You might want, that seems like high. I'm going to go to six just and see. Okay, so that was low. So, okay. Wow, so it's just really fast speeds. All right, well, let's go, let's go back to, let's go back to one. And we'll go through the speeds. Well, um, I was worried it might be slow with the 60-inch blades. I'm no longer a, worried about that. That's a problem. Yeah, okay. plus they're very narrowed, so I yeah, can see Yeah, this one, again, I think might be operating more on pitch anyway. Um, well, actually, no, it must be more on speed on this one. So we'll find slow. out. Well, okay, so 0.07 amps. That's not very many amps. Four, not even a 5-watt nightlight bulb. So it's like about a 4-watt nightlight bulb and a half a power factor. I will say... Silent. That's yeah, silent. the other one, yeah, these have been both have been silent. Yeah. And neither one of them are very pricey. This is a... Do a tacker with the little Oh, yeah. Speed. Okay. okay. The last one we only tacked high, but I'm more than happy to tack all the speeds. At least uh, tack low. Sure, we can tack low. Well, the white blades will get a clean reading. Yeah. Um, this one is also... Okay, a do 400. Okay. Divided yeah. by this 5 so, blade. So blade, yeah. And 80. So yeah. it's a little on the fast side, but it's not crazy. Yeah. It's not terrible. Definitely feeling something already. Yeah. Okay, let's go to two. So there's a little, there's a little bit of a noticeable. There are things I don't like about DC motors, but I will say the fact that you can get um, pretty high speeds with big blades and big blade pitches, and like, you know, you got a lot more torque out of them than you have out of most uh, capacitor-based yeah. and shaded pull motors. So I definitely get why. Uh, they're trending there, especially with fans that have like more decorative blades. Okay, I guess we're gonna tag all the speeds. Uh, let's see. Uh, go with four eighty. Just gonna average it. To... Okay. We're getting ninety six. Okay. okay. So it was a jump. Yeah. No. Okay. Let's, all right. Let's go to three. Oh, I didn't do that. I forgot that. Yeah. 0.1 amp, 6.8 watts, so not even a 7 watt C7 bulb yet. It's and interesting that this one is drawing yeah. less than the last one we tested, which was also pretty efficient, but... Yeah, this is very... Okay, let's go to 3. One styling thing that bugs me is I wish the light kit was the same diameter as the motor housing. It looks kind of strange. That's yeah! Wider. I wonder why that is. What speed are you on now? This is, so this is speed 3. Okay. We commented in the last video, uh, you weren't here yet, Pete, that this basically these six speed DC fans are kind of like IntelliTouch. Yeah. Which was. Um, it's effectively a modernized variable speed because yeah. there's such little differences between the speed. What are you getting? 555. Okay. 111, right? Yep. I don't even know why I bother doing the math. That one's pretty. <laughs> even I could do that one. What yeah. are you getting? 111. Oh, so low, yeah, it's climbing. All right, so 0.15 amps, 10.4 watts, and half a power factor. Half a power factor. All right, so this is going to be what, speed four now. So this is getting up there. Okay. Yeah, this is uh, speed four. 633. Definitely more of a difference. Yeah, I don't know why I lost the calculator. I just grabbed the calculator. Yeah, 633, you said? Yep. 127. Hmm. Hmm. I'll allow crunching on, just like a allow crunching on 4 since it's half of 8, and it's about the closest we're going to get to an 8, 12 or 20. I guess. We'll allow crunching on speed 4. <laughs> okay, is this speed 4? Yes, it is. Crunch, 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 crunch. All right, all right, let's go to speed 5. Or did I do this? 0.21 amps, 14, about 15 watts, and power factor climbing a little. All right, let's go speed 5. Okay. Yeah, this is no slouch. It's I feel a lot Yeah, it's, this one, I was, I bait, when we were assembling it, I was wondering if this one was going to perform comparably to the last one we tested or if there would be a downgrade but so far this seems to be uh, yeah it's on okay it's on point so uh far. 70 hold on hold on it's climbing yet i think it's still climbing it's climbing 
go with uh, 715. 143. Okay. And then we're at 0. 0.3 amps, 21 watts, and yeah, about a little over half the power factor. And this is gonna be this is gonna be speed six high. Full throttle. Ooh. It's a little closer on the current draw on high. The other one was around I think the same. There was quite an uptick on that one, the 25 and 6. That's yeah. Because now we got bags. That thing is flying. flying, my God. Yeah, we got yeah, stuff going Yeah, I'm right impressed. Now. Well, first, keep in mind, it's a 60 inch, too, so. Yeah, 60 inch and it's flying. Yeah, let's get a CFM. Wow. Um, I'm at 800. Go with 803. Okay. So this is doing 200 RPM. No, it's because it's a five blade, so it's oh. one. It's 161. Okay, 161. Okay. Still pretty. But it's a steep first. Five so steep blades with uh, with 60, 60 inch. inch that's pretty inch good inch. for a residential fan. Okay, yeah, so we're at uh, 0.44 amps, 33 watts, and about two thirds. Okay. Right. Let's um, put the light on. Let's just see what it does. Full power with full light and fan. Gotta do that light. Oh, so that remembered the last setting, by the way, too. So the remote does, but not. Well, the... if you if you cycle through it immediately, then it will yeah. change. But if you just turn it off and then wait for a while, it's gonna like gotcha. it's probably gonna go back to. Yeah, as long as you keep power applied. Oh, that okay. didn't. Well, they it's... do have if I would do the power yeah. factor in the watch. So zone. point then... six point six two amps, forty eight watts, the, uh, and uh, point six five power factor. That's for that's full light, yeah, full fan. How does this? I mean, without actually like measuring the lumens, how does this light compare to the other one? I think it's a little dimmer than the other one, but not by much. Yeah. That other one when you cranked it all. This to me looks like it's about the same as the default setting in the other one. I'm gonna, no yeah, I'm gonna settings. see if there's no, a lumens rating on this one. The other one had a lumens rating, I think. I'm getting 472 here. It's a little less than the last one, I think. It is. One was, it does feel a little less, but think, it's still. It will, well, keep in mind, it's a 50 or it's a 60. Yeah, inch, so it's gonna be. What, 60 inch? Yeah. That's what, 19, who's got the chart? That's 19.64, right? Yep. Is it 16? Yeah, it's nine. What's, let me check, hold on, let me check the uh, box. Does it have a model number? Oh, no, it's, I'm, I'm sure it's 60. Yeah, 60. Let me see, what was it, four, four, what did you say it was, Pete? 1964. Like 472. 472. Wow. So that's about 9,300 CFM. So that's about, like, High end of blender fan, low end of gold line. Because you know, not all gold lines measure the same. Not all blender fans measure the same. Right. Uh, definitely more than a 52 inch K55. Yeah. Um. So yeah, for a residential wood bladed fan, that's a lot of air movement. Again, it's 60 inch, so that's you know you're 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 getting a lot of that just by making it a bigger fan. But the fact that it, it goes just as fast, in fact, faster than the uh, 52 inch fan we tested before um, means that the, the 60 inch blades are not really like slowing it down any you know okay I guess time for spin down oh I didn't realize we forgot to kill those fans out in the uh, thing I can hear them now I don't know why I didn't notice before yeah, it's not gonna make a huge yeah I might as well leave them on now if you, if you Basically, for the sake of the video, if you hear any background noise, it's coming from the bay. It is not coming from this fan. This fan is dead silent. Yes. All right. And occasionally, the heater kicks out in the bay too, so it's not like you know. Yeah. We weren't honestly. We were okay. expecting it to be warm today, which is why we we're plan planning. So to I'm test gonna these. go to uh, reverse then. I think let's do reverse. Okay, so I hit that. Let's see if it starts on reverse. Sometimes you have to actually. Oh, it did. Okay. So Interesting. That's, that's nice. See, because the last one you had to actually have it moving before you could reverse it. Yeah, that's pretty common. Ooh, that kind of seems like high, but... Uh-oh, it's not, it's not eight. It's not four, which was our clue one. Rick's one. giving you four, so... I'll give him four. I think that's, you got to get some opportunity. Yeah, I don't know. Okay, so... Does he? It's, it had... Oh, because I think the last setting was on high. That's probably why I did that. Okay, so this is... Yeah, it should be low reverse... I'll just scroll through quickly. About four, about five. Minutes. I like the range of speeds on this one a little better, it's to be better. honest. It's definitely better. It's got a slower low and a faster high. To um, me, this is like what I would call like a '90s SMC low. Like it's a little fast, but yeah. it's not like un not annoying. Yeah, I never liked. I had my DC42 in my bedroom as a kid, and I never liked how I I put it on one of those mood setter remotes to try to uh, slow it down, but then it was noisy as shit. 
Yeah, yeah, that'll do it. Here's two. Okay. So, Pete is proving that if necessary, he can chew quietly. Because he's over there chewing the Reese's and hoping that we won't notice. So, he's doing a great job. I mean, that's not bad. Here's, here's I, I just need to make sure that we all know that it is possible for him to chew quietly, and I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna, uh, uh, what's the word? I'm not gonna forget that. Anytime there's loud chewing other than 8, 12, and 20, it's not acceptable, because now we know he knows how to chew quietly. Okay, and this, this is gonna be our equivalent, it's four, which I'll give you is gonna be the equivalent of eight, so. Oh, he's got the chips now. All right, and four. Three, four. Crunch, 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 crunch. I still think that when there is no eight, you don't get, there's no crunching, but. Uh, I'll give him one. I think that seems fair. All right. Crunch, 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 crunch. Really? Really? That's what we're doing? What did he do? He made, like, Cookie Monster noises. Oh. <laughs> Okay, is this B5? Although Cookie Monster and Animal are cut from the same cloth, and Animal is a drummer, so. And six. Fucking good drummer, honestly. Mm. So the fact that it's slowing down this Casa Classic a little bit is definitely saying something. Oh, really? I didn't even I notice that. It, I think it Do me a favor, Pete, kill the fan switch behind you. I want to see if it, if it turns these in the opposite direction on high. Is this high? This is what speed is this? Oh, it should be high. It looks like a little slower. Yeah, it does. It's not drawn full current. Okay, maybe there's something glitching. Out. Okay, yeah, there's there's six. Keep, I mean, with DC fans, like when they're new, sometimes they do do wonky things. Could be Rick's yeah. fault too. I might have pressed the wrong button. That also is why we're very possible. Yeah, so our sheep. <laughs> we saw a lot of Ricks out there earlier. Yeah, they almost came in the bay, Pete. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, no, they did that one time. Yes, I know we haven't been able to duplicate that since. I wish I could have gotten it on camera. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we've definitely... Well, a couple of times, I think, in the early days, we used to have to kick the sheep out. It's trying. It's, like, almost enough to turn it. Yeah, so it's 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 almost turning the fan behind it to yeah, go back. that one's still spinning down, yeah. so we can't see for sure, but I was curious if either one of them... Okay, so did we, did we do a zero to high, or do we... Um, well, why don't we do zero to high and to forward? We'll okay. That. I was like, what? Yeah. <laughs> as soon as I hit this, it, it, like the second I hit this button, that started, I was like, what? Yeah, no, oh, Pete no, no, uh, doesn't like having them off. No. Not mad. No, I agree, it looks better with them on low in the background. That, right? and plus they keep the heat from escaping. Yeah, they'll help. We got heat running. Okay, so it did not like that. Oh, there it goes. Okay. Yeah, I had to think Just for a bit. Texas. Yeah, like That's a DC fan. Yeah, DC fans will do that. Yeah. Again, if you're in a scenario where you are fine with a remote or wall controlled fan and you only have like one fan. I'm fine with DC. I just the reason I don't like it is for like mass installs where I want to have a ton of fans on on multiple controls or things like that. Also, can this one be smart controlled? I think the last one could. That's a huge advantage in my mind is because if I want to add a smart control if I don't already have one. I Did the manual say anything about smart control for this one? I, not that I, I noticed. Anything, I didn't look yeah. that close. Okay. Manual, so. Yeah. I mean, I'm sure there might be an upgrade for it, but that's always a factor for me. It's nice to be able to smart control stuff. I don't stuff. think you can afford that house, Dan. Oh, I can't. I'm just looking for ceiling fan pictures for slideshows. <laughs> it's too modern. No, no. So... Okay, all right, so uh, I guess what else do we have to do then? We've got, we, we already uh, I guess Rick test, huh? Yeah, so I guess I'll give it uh, we'll give it speed one and go with that line, I suppose. Mm -hmm. You want to kill the house lights? Yeah. Yeah. I also kind of like the fact that it beeps when you hit the when you hit something, so you know it registered. Like yeah. Kind of salt. I mean, it's not an obnoxious beep, just a little. I agree. I like that as well. Um, then you know it's been registered. Okay, so that is definitely... Put the light on the other one just real quick. I want to see how bright it is. Yeah, it's not quite as bright as the other light, but it's still very bright. And and so, yeah, if I were to have a criticism for this one, other than the, we already talked about the mounting, um, 
I mean, if you can get, upgrade this to a receiver that is dim, dimmable light and smart controlled, then then I would have no other criticisms. And if it doesn't have an option for an upgrade, then that would be my only criticism. Is I like having both of those functions. This is I like it. It's nice to have a bright light. Um, but this is going to be too bright for some things. Although, then again, I'm not somebody that uses overhead lights. So, you know. Um, okay, well, um, yeah, put it with the yeah, put it over. And so, what do you think, Rick? I, I, where, where? I actually, I think I like this one more than the last. I, I would say, I mean, and again, this is in terms of, you know. Ranking modern fans by what's available modern, today. Yes. Including the price range of this factor, because if you want to spend five hundred bucks, you can get original today. Yeah, absolutely. But this is one hundred and twenty bucks. Yeah, this is and it does what it needs to do. I would give this slower end of avocado appliance for a modern fan. I like that it kind of has blender fan vibes. It has a lower canopy, which is cool. I mean, honestly, the five sixty inch blade is nice. So I, dimmability is nice, but I don't lose sleep over it. Um, yeah, I don't really have many complaints. I think this is a. I like how this one runs. So, I mean, normally I wouldn't suggest that we, you know, rank different manufacturer fans against each other, but the fact that we had two to test in one day kind of opens itself to that. You're saying you like this one better than the last one we tested? Slightly, yeah. But they're both solid choices. I'm not, not you know, dumping on either one. Yeah, I, I, for me it's six six of one, half dozen of the other. I like, I, I wish this one had the light and the remote of the other one, but I actually, I really like the five 60-inch blades. Yeah. Um... I'm trying to think, because this is like the style now is fans that kind of look like HVLS fans. Yeah. I definitely don't like more than six blades. I'm trying to think if I would like this better with four, five, or six. And I almost think I like it with five, because you don't, don't see like five that. that often in something like it. It's like right. a Fasco Charleston, where they're actually cooler in five blade, because that's the less common. Yeah, I like it in five, honestly. And honestly, I kind of like the blade badges, too. That's definitely the a, white and black. The throwbacky kind of thing, having blade badges like that. Yeah. I um I agree. Like I said, to me, I, I think it's between the two. I think it's six of one half dozen of another. Um, but I'm actually kind of I'm well, I am happy that that neither one of them do I have to be like. Well, I don't really like that one. Like we had two solid options today. You know, every so often uh, I get sent something that I gotta really try to hunt for something nice to say about because I never would want to. I give my honest opinion, but I never want to say all negative. I'd want to try to find the positive and find the criticism. Yeah, I wouldn't be. Here um, but I didn't. We didn't have to hunt far to find positive about either one of these. So I would agree with Rick. What do you think, uh, Stuart? Yeah, I uh, I like it. It's, yeah, it looks more uh, typical, you know. What do you have a pick between the two? Um, I, I would have probably gone maybe with the first one. First one has some advantages. Yeah, it does. Went, to, went together super easily. That, I can't complain about that assembly. Yeah, that was easy. quick to get up and quick to get down. That's what yeah. she said. <laughs> uh, what about you, your medalist? Uh, let's see here. Well, there again, I'm looking at a total modern fan yes. here. Yes, so. we're, we're not comparing it to a no. Union Gold Line. That no. wouldn't be fair. <laughs> no. Not a fair thing. <laughs> no. Yeah, that's a, different, that's a different category. But uh, let's see, in the right setting... I could totally see. I was still impressed with the air on this yeah. one because there's so many modern fans like I've seen in all the stores, your typical Home that Depot suck. stuff. They, they all just, suck. They don't, they don't move any air, really. They don't. I think Especially the modern hunters. I'm talking like your you summer. I, I, was, I was turning it. Yeah. That actually looks kind of cool, cool on camera. Yeah. On camera, it does. Yeah. Um, but in terms of this, I would give it the middle category. Which one do you like better, this one or the last one? Probably that last one. Last one does have a few cool things. It I I does. will say, in response to what you said about like modern fans and, and and performance sucking, I will say that is the advantage of DC Motors, is that they're able to make powerful fans that can still have these modern blade designs that people like better that are oftentimes harder to move air with. They can still make them really efficient and really affordable. Um, so I, I, again, I know a lot of vintage fan people, including myself, have reservations about uh, DC motors, uh, well-founded reservations about DC motors. But this is the advantage: is for a hundred and few, a few hundred and a few dollars, you can have a fan that's as powerful as a vintage fan that is brand new, that is you know the style that 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 the you know the gray farmhouse people love. And, this one's uh, not really great. I wouldn't say this is great farmhouse. Really, this is. Not I know it's just that the black and white is more. 
that's a minimalist kind of thing, I would say. But I mean, not obviously not what I'd be hanging in my house. But it, you know, there's a lot of people that would like this. You're not a minimalist, Rick. I'm like the opposite of that. I think <laughs> they call that a maximalist. I think that actually is a thing. Isn't it, it is. Sort? I'm not a hoarder. I'm a maximalist. Yes. I eat a lot of stuff. Yes. Yes. Uh, Alex so. Jordan. <laughs> Jonas. Jonas. Yeah. Okay, oh, so see, there, I remembered the warm white there. Okay. Well, I guess it's time to thank our sponsors then. The doll We have um, <laughs> Fan Stick, Light Stick, Taco Burrito Mexico, Sperry, the uh, the beverage of fan collectors, A1220 LLC, where our motto is crunch, 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 crunch. Rickersheep.com, a fun game you can play with your friends, good manufacturing company. Am I forgetting anyone? Oh, a power, power vacuum, the vacuum with more mates. Um, <laughs> it gets butchered worse every time. That's the goal. Uh, is there anybody I'm forgetting? Um, well, let's assume we covered it all. I guess it's time to close out the video. Oh, wait! Who's that at the door? Oh. Why, look, it's Metal Jonas. <laughs> uh, yeah, it'd be a good thing you were, you were careful of that fan there, Metal Jonas. Are you looking for anything, Metal Jonas? Uh, you gotta turn this off. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, by the way, would you have any Casablanca catalogs? Oh, we've got one. Oh, lovely. How about some Emerson catalogs? Oh, man, I have every single one. Oh. In the plastic. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and any new tone doorbell catalogs? I think I think there might be one upstairs. Oh. What do you think of House on the Rock, Metal oh, Jonas? Oh, House on the Rock. One oh, word, word, incredible. One, one word, word overwhelming. One, one word, word amazing. Wow. wow. Well, everybody, thanks for watching. That's it for a modern fan test. I actually have one other manufacturer test to do, but it'll be done on the workbench. Um, and then, obviously, there'll be more in the future when we get sent more. But we're going to test a ton of vintage fans tonight, so don't go anywhere. Stay, stay glued to your screens. Thanks for watching, and bye, 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 bye fans. Thanks for watching.